All right, let's start. I wanted to do a critique on our first projects in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. I felt everybody did in general a really good job. Um, so I wanted to start the day off with some positivity. Let not your hearts be troubled. Uh, we are the fortunate few that have art to get us through. Okay, so this is the first one. This one is fantastic. I have no criticisms of the, of the, of the image itself, but I do have criticisms of the text. I think I'm not quite sure if maybe this was a flaw or maybe they accidentally did this, didn't realize it, like the, the text positioning. I'm not sure why it's positioned like this, why this one is centered and this one is on the left. Um, this part looks pretty good. Uh, the other thing about text when you're doing Illustrator is sometimes it looks really good to do like an offset effect where you actually have two layers of text of the same text and then you offset one. Sometimes that makes the text just a little bit more um, interesting, a little bit more visually compelling. So careful with your text, but your image looks fantastic. You really addressed the, the sort of like the stylistic purpose of this project. Great job here. Okay, so this one, uh, I think I think in general, you did a real good job of sort of getting yourself introduced to the program. I can see here you're making some good decisions about light and about um, how to address sort of like the overlapping mosaic, which is what the point of the project was. So I think you've done a really good job to introduce yourself to Illustrator. I do have some complaints about the metal um, on the ax. It definitely doesn't look shiny enough. And I know I need to do that video. I need to do a video on metal, which would have probably helped you out here. Um, and that video was also requested by another student. So I know I have to do that. Um, I just haven't gotten to that yet. But I think overall, this is pretty good. But I think your metal on your ax is a little bit weak and that it's not shiny. It looks too flat. Um, it doesn't look very metallic. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. I think this one is, a, again, a really good introduction into Illustrator. So I think you did a really good job introducing yourself into Illustrator and starting off creating um, an initial thing. I do have an issue with, and we talked about this, I think that there's just not quite enough complexity. You have a lot of complexity in the eyes, which is good, um, but you don't have a lot of complexity in the fur or in the hair or in the, in the uh, ears. Um, so I think you can work and develop your skills by sort of layering a little bit more complexity, creating more layers of shapes, having those shapes overlap, having the opacity of those shapes um, different in the sense that some are a little bit less opaque. And then you get these really interesting compounding effects by piling detail upon detail upon detail upon detail where you have these overlapping effects. So that's what I would suggest to push yourself. Um, but this is a really good start to illustrate. This is a really good, fantastic start introducing yourself into the program. Okay, so this one, this one's really good. I, I, I you obviously are getting understanding of making the making the project. Um, it, you did a great job in, in implementation of the microscope. I really like the image, but I'm gonna frankly, I'm gonna call you out here um, for something that I don't like to see students doing, especially so late in the semester. Like in the beginning, I understand, but at the end of the semester, like you guys need to be pushing your creativity. You need to be not, not being so derivative. And to be frank, so when I Google vector image of microscope, I get this. So it's clear that like you were looking at this as a reference you, um, and it's just like, it's way too derivative. Like you guys need to be doing your own stuff at this point. So I'm gonna call you out on that. You should not be doing that this late in the semester. I expect more from you guys. I want you to see you improve. Don't do this again. Okay, let's see this one. This one is really fantastic. You've really done a really great job learning Illustrator. I think Illustrator is the stronger program for you. I said in the beginning when we started Illustrator that you're going to see some surprises from people and you're going to see that Illustrator just naturally clicks for some people where Photoshop maybe was not was a little bit more difficult. I think you're one of the students where Illustrator is really clicking for you. I would really encourage you to keep pushing the program. Um, and, and it might be your, it might become your go-to program from here on out. This looks fantastic. I have no complaints. It looks really, really good. Fantastic. Maybe just the leaves. Um, you've clearly put some highlights on the lemons, but there's no highlights on the leaves. So it's a little bit weird, but because they're in the background, maybe it works. Um, but maybe just a couple other shades of green on these leaves would make it a little bit better. But overall, fantastic work. Okay, this one is really fantastic. I opened this one up and said, ooh, um, this one's really nice. 
the legs are a little bit awkward. So like this leg looks good. You've got a good thigh here coming up to the to the buttocks, but this leg, it doesn't normally like front legs are gonna have kind of like like this region right here where it gets thicker, like in the thigh area. So it's a little bit awkward there. Um, that could have been improved a little bit, but the eyes look fantastic. Um, the horns look fantastic. The ears are a little bit weird, but I think it fits with the overall style. Um, so this is pretty fantastic, except for like the proportions just seem just a little bit off is, is kind of what I think. So focus on proportion, be careful about proportion moving forward. But this is really a fantastic job introducing yourself to Illustrator. Great work here. This one is really nice. And this one has a lot of personality. This is where I, I, I've talked, and I know I said this to you specifically, thinking about um, what the message you're sending about your piece and also thinking about the essence of the things that you're making. I think you did a really fantastic job here. This frog has a lot of personality. I really like the speckle, the speckle effects. Maybe not quite enough warts, maybe not quite enough sliminess. I mean, the essence, we, and we talked about this specifically in this lab or in this class before. Essence of frogs are, or toads and frogs, at least frogs in particular are slimy. Essence of toads would be like they're warty. So maybe maybe more warts, um, more highlights on the warts, a little, make it a little bit wetter. But, but this frog has a lot, of, it's like an angry frog, has a lot of personality. I love it. Um, this is really fantastic. Did a really, really nice job here. Great work. Okay, this one, I think, again, I think in general, it's pretty good. Um, I think you miscalculated with the gradient meshes. The gradient meshes make it look like a metal crow. So here's an actually an interesting example if you're thinking about how to do metal. Um, yours looks like a metal crow. So I think it might actually be better. Um, would you do like a giant gradient mesh? I'm not sure quite how you did it. Um, but I think the crow is really good. The, the claws are fantastic, but the claws are in a different style as the, as the feathers. And the feathers aren't just, just don't come off to me as feathers. It comes off to me as a metal crow. So I think it was a little bit of a mistake in implementation. But overall, I think this is a fantastic project. And again, another, another really good introduction into Illustrator. Okay, here's another one where frankly, I'm just, I just it's such a great improvement, such a really awesome, piece of work here on these mushrooms. I think that you've really implemented Illustrator in exactly what it's strong at, exactly what it's best at. I think your mushrooms are really compelling. I think they're beautiful. I think you did a fantastic job. I think this is one of the best things I've seen from you. Um, and I would continue again. Again, here's another thing I would say is I think Illustrator is clearly clicking for you. And I would continue to push future illustrations in Illustrator. Uh, I think it's stronger for you than Photoshop was. Uh, great work. Okay, here's this one. This one, again, fantastic. And I really appreciate you helping out making a video showing us how you made this. I think it's it's stunning. It's really fantastic. For a first project in Illustrator, it's amazing. You did a really good job. Some of the things that are a little bit awkward is this highlight seems to be over top of this branch, which is a little bit awkward. The other final thing I would push is, um, to like again it's really really good but maybe perhaps the blue jay is a little bit too cute i feel like if i i don't know much about birds but i feel like blue jays i aren't they famous for being very aggressive um they're very i, I think they're very aggressive territorial birds and so a little bit more aggression in the blue jay would pull out the essence this one's a bit too cute but it's very beautiful you did a fantastic job uh and again just another example of really like this is it perfect use of Illustrator. It looks beautiful. Here's another fantastic one. Um, this is perfect for me. Like the, the, I completely understand the style that you're going at here. A little, you're abstracting the essence of the crocodile. My only issue, and I know we talked about you had issues where I think you lost your file and, and there were some issues with, with the computer at, at some point. But the, my biggest criticism is it would be perfect except for the fact that I think crocodiles have some spikes on their back and which you kind of got here, but maybe not up here. The other issue for me is there's no claws. Um, I would maybe add some claws, although you hinted the claws with the sharpness of these parts here. And the biggest issue, the big, big, big issue is there's no teeth. What kind of a crocodile, what kind of a respectable crocodile has no teeth? Like. That's the biggest issue for me. I expect more from you. 
um, you were on to a great start, but you didn't seal the deal. You didn't, you didn't sort of like uh, get the score of the touchdown. You need teeth on crocodiles. Um, improve and, and you will thank me. Okay, this one, again, another extremely fantastic example of what can be done in Illustrator. Very, very simple, but I have no criticisms of that. Um, you've, you've done a fantastic job of the chestnuts. Um, I have no criticisms. They're really beautiful, and I would continue. I'm, I'm going to be excited to see what you produce in Illustrator in the future. Great work. These nuts are illustrated quite appropriately. All right, so this student tackled it in a little different approach, trying to do a whole scene, which is very difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. So I think you had a good start here. I think this is a good introduction to the program. Obviously, you learned a lot about Illustrator. You've got the grading of meshes. You've got the mosaics. You've got the shadows. Like you're doing, you're implementing a lot of things in Illustrator. I like that it's seasonal. I like that you're having a lot of fun. And I hope you continue to have fun and continue to push your, your style and your creativity. And I look forward to seeing what comes from you in the future. All right, this one is really beautiful. I like that you're focusing on some shapes and then and then getting multiple uh, what usages out of each of those shapes. I, I think it looks fantastic. I think you did a great job on the acorns. Great job on the, I don't, I'm, I think these are like petals, flowers. I think you did a great job on those. Great job on the cabbage. Great job on the peas, squash. Everything, everything looks really good. Um, I, I think composition wise, I think it's really, um, really fantastic. And I think you did a great job trying to capture the style that you were after. And I saw some of the references that you were looking at for sort of the style you were trying to emulate. I think you did a fantastic job of capturing that. And I hope, I think it's clear that you're having fun in Illustrator and I hope you, I hope you keep enjoying it and keep pushing yourself. All right, this one is fantastic. I think you did a, it, it looks really good. Great job capturing the rubber ducky in a sense that it looks a little bit, looks a little bit wet. Also look, feels rubbery, did a great job in that. And also a fantastic job of the rubber ducky uh, pill bug creature. It looks, it's, it's amazing, looks really good. Color scheme is fantastic. You did a great job picking out colors, picking out a background color. Um, you're really talented at that. I remember from some of your previous ones, you're really talented at picking out good color schemes that fit into a whole composition, a whole piece. Really talented, real good job here. Okay, so this one, I think you were getting better as you were going along. I think that your plants look really good. Your pitcher plants, your carnivor carnivorous plants, they look really fantastic, but I don't feel like they fit in this, in the, um, the, the, the pot. I don't feel like this pot is quite how I would do it. Um, I'm not sure that the black line on the edge is convincing and also the, the ceramic pot seems a bit too shiny usually in these ceramic pots if, if it's the one that I'm thinking of. They're usually pretty flat and the shininess of this I'm, I'm not sure it's contributing although it does feel shiny if that's what you're going after. The other thing I would suggest is you got some shadows here for the pot but if you would have shrunk this a little bit, it would have been a really interesting composition to also produce the shadows from these, from these pitcher plants. I think that would have made the piece a lot more compelling. So a great start here, but definitely some room for improvement. And I'm, I'm excited to see what you pursue for the next projects. Great work. Okay, this one's really good. Again, I don't have any issue with simplicity. This is simple, but it looks fantastic. You did a great job. Um, I, th I think Illustrator is clicking for you. You did a good job learning the program, getting, getting the idea of doing the overlapping shapes, starting with the mosaics. I would suggest you could have made the slug a little bit more slimy. Um, maybe a trail of slime would be also be nice. The shell, I think you could have some a little bit more molding to, to um, do, get the three dimensionality of it. But overall, this is a real good introduction to Illustrator. And it's a, it's a beautiful, simple cartoon. Good job. Okay, so I'll finish with mine. Um, my goal was to try to do here kind of like a Han Solo ray gun kind of thing. So I started with kind of like a base that looked like Han Solo's gun. I feel like it did a really good job on the uh, Bobinga wood handle. I think I did a good job at that. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I think, I think I could add a little bit more detail in sort of the neon Tesla coil pipe thing that I was trying to do. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with it. I think it did a pretty good job. Again, I'm just always impressed by what 
things come out of Illustrator, it always just pulls out a different side of you that you didn't even know you were capable of. I feel that way about myself when every time I use Illustrator. And I think you guys are going to find that too as you keep pursuing it. So keep up the good work. Um, the next projects are going to be fantastic. I just know it. And they'll be really interesting to see what you guys choose.